Hello everyone, I'm Chris Room with the Room Insurance Agency, a licensed independent insurance agent located in Cincinnati, Ohio. I currently hold a license in 18 states. If you like what you hear today, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to enroll in Medicare Part A and B if you're not taking Social Security. If you are taking Social Security, you'll be automatically enrolled in Parts A and B, and you need to opt out of B at a minimum if you have a group plan, because you do not need to enroll in Part B if you have credible group coverage. Now, it depends on your employer size whether you need to enroll in Part A typically, so it's always a good idea to check with your employer if you're under 20 employees and ask them what you need to do in terms of enrolling into Medicare. Okay, but this is primarily focused on people that want to enroll in Part B and they're not taking Social Security. So again, my name is Chris Room and my website is real simple, chrisroom.com. And at the top of the website, you can see my different links here, Get a Quote, Medicare, Health, Life, Blog, and Reviews. So you're going to click on Medicare and you're just going to scroll down a little bit to the Get Your Medicare Card. And you're going to click on that link like I just did. And it's going to bring you to this page. Sign up for Medicare or sign up for Part B only. So if you're 65 or older, you can enroll online for Parts A and B or Part A only. You can delay Part B without penalty. This is a kicker. If you're already covered through an employer group health plan. Again, Part A and Part B are optional if you have credible group coverage through an employer, and that's usually defined by 20 or more employees. If you're 20 or less, you're probably going to have to sign up for Part A, and if your employer makes you enroll in Part B or tells you you have to, then you'll want to do that as well, okay? So either way, you would click on the Apply Online now, it's going to take you through a few steps that's going to eventually get you to your My Social Security account where you can enroll online. All right. If you want to sign up for Part B only, let's say you've already done this, you've delayed Part B because you could continue to work and you retired at age 68. Well, this is where you're going to come now and get started to enroll for Part B only because you've delayed it. Again, you will not have a penalty if you delay and you have credible coverage, okay? So that's important. You do not want to enroll in Part B because first off, it's a waste of money. And secondly, it does limit your options for what plans you can get. You are guaranteed issue coverage, but it might limit the plans you can get with particular carriers. So I'm just gonna show you sign up for Medicare. You'll click on the apply online link. You'll go through the terms of service, click I understand, you'll click next. And then you can read through this, but um, this will tell you what you kind of need to apply online. And then you will start a new application. All right. So you click on start new application. I'm applying for myself. And then do you have a so my social security account? So uh, you can click yes or no. If you have one, then you'll need to sign in. If you do not, you can create one at this point. My social security account is a pretty cool account where you can see what your earnings have been throughout your life and what you can expect to get in retirement. So if you click yes and you click next, it'll take you to your My Social Security account where you can sign in or register. I'm not going to click any further because it goes into my account information and I'm not ready for Medicare yet. So it's not going to be super helpful from that point on. Again, my name is Chris Room. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Chris Room. I'm going back to my homepage. You can call me at 513-335-2465, or you can scroll down to the bottom of any of my pages and I have contact forms, okay? And then last but not least, my Get a Quote page. If you're interested in a quote for a Medicare supplement, Medicare Advantage plan, or a prescription drug plan, I have links here for all those products and I'll happily give you a no obligation quote and I can help you enroll when the time comes. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye-bye.